anatomical position of the heart, the apex is directed downwards, forwards, and to the left. Now these are the openings of the heart. This is the opening for the aorta. This is the opening for the pulmonary trunk. These four are the openings of the pulmonary veins. And here you have the right atrium, where superiorly there's an opening for the superior vena cava, and inferiorly the opening for the inferior vena cava. Now we open the right, the right atrium, and you'll see that there's a, a rough part and a smooth part. This is the rough part right here, and these things, these muscles that you see here, they're called musculi pectinata. Now, the smooth part is over here, as you can see, comparatively smoother. And this part over here is called the fossa ovalis, and the border is called the limbus fossa ovalis. This is a thumb-shaped impression, as you can see, I can place my thumb right in there. This is the opening for the coronary sinus right here. The opening for the coronary sinus. You can place your finger inside, as you can see right here. Opening for the coronary sinus. Now, this opening right here is the tricuspid valve, and it conveys blood from the right atrium to the right ventricle, which is below. Here we open the right ventricle. What you see here are ridges, bridges, and pillars, right? Ridges are just elevations. Uh, bridges are elevations with spaces in between them. And pillars are muscles. Uh, there's three types of pillars, anterior, posterior, and septal. And uh, there's something called the chordae tendine, which uh, connect the pillars to the uh, septal wall. So indirectly they control the valves and they help in opening and closing of the valves. This is also the right ventricle. See? Anterior, posterior, and septal uh, pillars and they're connected by the chordae tendine to the septal wall. That's it.